So in the last video, I showed you guys how to use HTML in five minutes. If HTML is the backbone of any website, CSS is basically the icing on top of the cake. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jasmine Wu and I'm the creator of Tech Gout Diaries. In the next five minutes, you're going to learn how to beautify your plain old HTML code with CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and by the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to use it to add fonts, colors, and styles to your web page. Are you ready to kick it up a notch with styling? Then don't forget to follow along with the exercises that I go through in this video. I promise it will be worth your time. Yay! All right, let's get started. Same as last time, go to codepen.io and click on Start Coding. After you've done this, paste the code from last time that you did if you've done my HTML tutorial in the left-hand side in the HTML cop. If not, you can just do sample code that I pasted in the description of this video and also just paste it in the HTML column. The only thing I changed to this code was I took that image out in between the H1 and H3 tags. We're not going to be using it in this tutorial today, but you can leave it in if you want. So HTML, as you remember, was made up of pairs of tags. CSS works a little differently in which they use blocks. The blocks tell the computer which properties or CSS changes you want to make to which part of the HTML code. So the first CSS concept that I want to show you guys is how to change the style of text. Let's start by picking an HTML tag that we want to change first. So let's say H1. Now that we picked our HTML tag, let's choose some properties to change it. So maybe I don't like this font, so we can change the font family to say Courier. You can look up any other fonts that you want to use. And you can see here, the font just changed for the title. Now let's say I also want to change the font size. You can do that as well. So font size, let's say 30 pixels. Make sure to add the pixels because that's how computers talk in terms of size. And text align tells it where you want your text to be aligned. So for title, I want it to be in the middle. You just type in center. You can also do right, left, whatever you want. And for the color, I'm going to make my title magenta. Pretty simple, right? Let's do that for the rest of our tags. So H3, maybe I also want it to be centered. We can do that with text align. And for my list, I am going to change the font family to sans serif. So it looks a little bit cleaner. And there you go. We changed the style of our text. So the second concept that I want to explain guys in CSS is how to use classes. Right now, we're just using single HTML tags to specify what we want to do with our CSS, like H1 and H3. But what if we want to do something a little bit more complicated? Like I want to make my first bullet point pink, my second bullet point blue, and the third bullet point pink. Then what do we do? Because right now we have only one HTML tag, which is OL surrounding our entire list. Well, we can use classes and this will help us out a lot. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is go back to our HTML code and add the classes at the places that we want it to be. So let's go find the first bullet point. So in this list, number one, we're going to make class equals first bullet. Then in our second bullet point, we're going to make a class equals second bullet. And for our third one, we're going to make it class equals third bullet. And once we have these classes specified, we can start using them in our CSS code. So what's different about classes is that they will start with a dot in front of them. So we're going to do it like this. First bullet, dot, third bullet, because we want the first and the third bullet to have the color pink on the text. So what we're going to do is just like above, we're going to say color is pink. There we go. We can see that the first and third bullet are now pink. Now let's do that for the second bullet. Dot second bullet. And we're going to make this color light blue. Finally. So the third and final concept that I want to show you guys today is how to change the background of your web page. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure that it applies to the entire web page, not just one single section. So what we have to do is go back to your HTML code and wrap our code around div tags. So what div means is division. So we want to wrap our entire HTML code with this one single div tag. Then in our CSS code, we use this div tag to change the background. And I know we could do something super simple, like we could do cut background and then just put the color, say, I don't know, pink. But let's do something a little bit fancier than that. 
I want you to go find a background image that you really like, then grab that URL of that image, then we're going to use it like so. I want you to paste that URL right here in between these quotations. So how does that look? What then we have to do is fix up our H3 tag so the text is readable, and I think we are done. Amazing, you just learned the basics of CSS. Congratulations. If you would like to see a part three of these crash course videos, please give this video a like and subscribe so that I know. See you next time.